Welcome to the Angus Report, a news program for cattle producers. From American Angus Association headquarters in St. Joseph, Missouri, we bring you the latest cattle industry news and information. Today, this special edition of the Angus Report centers on genetic evaluation and the future of genetic advancements in the beef cattle business. This is the Angus Report. Hello and welcome to this special edition of the Angus Report. I'm joined today by Dr. Dan Mosier, the newly named president of Angus Genetics Incorporated and director of performance programs for the American Angus Association. Welcome to the program, Dan. Thank you, Crystal. So tell us a little bit about your background in the cattle business. Sure. I grew up in a small seed stock operation in northeast Kansas. I was involved uh, in a number of junior Angus activities as a young person. Uh, those activities led an interest in animal science, and so I attended Kansas State University. And my classes in genetics and animal breeding piqued my interest and uh, led me to pursue graduate school at the University of Georgia in animal breeding and genetics. I've served as a faculty member both at the University of Nebraska, but mostly at my alma mater at Kansas State University, uh, where I was involved in teaching and research uh, at the University in Beef Cattle Genetics. I was also a faculty coordinator of the Purebred Beef Unit, which includes an Angus operation, which has been in business since 1881. And tell us what brings you to Angus Genetics Incorporated. Well, I'm excited about this opportunity to uh, work for AGI and the American Angus Association to uh, be the person to lead the efforts forward in terms of genetic research, in terms of service, uh, working with producers one-on-one -on -one with questions that they might have, uh, working with the staff to improve what's already, I think, a very uh, outstanding customer service experience. What does AGI mean for seed stock and commercial producers? Well, AGI is the subsidiary of the American Angus Association that provides the weekly genetic evaluations uh, to our seed stock and commercial producers, also provides the genomic tests that are used in those evaluations, uh, as well as the research and development arm that uh, we work with the Angus database and both in-house and with other research partners to develop enhancements and improvements to the genetic evaluation procedures that AGI runs. And today we're talking about the future of genetic evaluation in the cattle business, specifically mm -hmm. the Angus breed. Mm -hmm. And why is this such an important topic for cattlemen today? Well, there's been so many great advances that have happened. Uh, I think back to the time when, when I was a young person starting in the Angus business and uh, the very limited amount of information we had at, this time, at those times. I remember picking out uh, the, the bull to breed my first show heifer to and was based primarily on a picture and a little bit of, of pedigree information. And now it's a whole new world in terms of genetic description, really, of animals. The things we know from their own performance, the tremendous database uh, that Angus breeders have contributed to over, the, over years, and also now genomic tools that uh, give us even more accurate estimates on very young animals. So the world's changed a lot in the last 20 years for cattle. Yeah, almost uh, unimaginable, I think. And this has applications for both small-scale and larger-scale producers as well. Oh, absolutely. Before we had the opportunity to use genomic information, uh, the evaluations we had were based on pedigree information, uh, performance of the animal in question, as well as its ancestors. And once it had progeny, then, of course, that was a big part of it, too. But particularly on young animals, there was a, a bit of uncertainty uh, because we didn't have progeny data. And so we couldn't know which animals got a more favorable draw of genetics from their parents. Uh, those of us that have children know that full sibs are not clones, that there's variation among full sibs, and it's the same way with Angus bulls. And a genomic uh, test, like now what's now available, allows us to screen a group of full sibs, perhaps, maybe flush mate bulls, and determine which ones have the most advantageous uh, set of genetics to transmit those traits into a commercial herd or a seed stock operation. So there's a lot of possibilities out there that weren't there before. Oh yeah, you know that, that genomic testing really only began about 2000 and wasn't incorporated into EPDs until recently. Uh, and of course Angus was one of the first to do that. Uh, and many breeds still don't have that technology in place. But that's something that I think has been very important to Angus breeders. And it's really minimized the risk, particularly for commercial producers that are using Angus genetics in their programs. So we're talking about genomics. What is AGI's role in the development of genomics within like genomic enhanced EPDs? Sure. So, so AGI does the, the weekly evaluations, uh, analyzes both the, the data as well as the genomic information, and weekly provides a new set of evaluations on all the animals in the database. We also conduct some of the research in terms of enhancements, adding new traits, new techniques, uh, re-estimating the parameters because the more DNA samples we have and the more animals we have that have been measured, the more closely we can match 
the DNA results with the phenotypes or the measurements of the animals. So regularly we re-estimate those parameters and those just make the predictions more accurate. And Angus has traditionally been kind of a powerhouse behind genetic evaluation and, well, and that's something um, that's released weekly mm -hmm. through AGI. Yeah, and that's something that's very unique to the beef cattle industry is to have those weekly evaluations so producers know very quickly, you know, under the old system we ran the, the blup run as, as we would call it, the evaluation twice a year, the once in the spring and once in the fall. And there'd be lots of information that's gathered all the time, calves being measured, DNA samples being submitted. Uh, into that old system, and a system that a lot of the competing breeds use, uh, that new information is only updated twice a year. Having that weekly evaluation, our customers have the most updated data information uh, to make breeding decisions. That information also plays into the bottom line of a lot of producers. Talk about this in the context of the overall makeup of the cattle business today. I think some of the industry surveys show that cattlemen report 70 per, up to 70 percent, I think, of the nation's cow herds based on Angus genetics. Sure, Angus obviously has a, a very large share of the market uh, in terms of the genetics that are entered into commercial operations. And so as the Angus breed moves forward, the industry moves forward. And so the progress that Angus seed stock breeders are making in terms of uh, each generation, improving the combination of traits that those animals offer, those very quickly enter the commercial uh, gene pool and directly impact the, both the production efficiency and the product quality uh, that our consumers enjoy. Well, and when we return, we'll continue to talk about the progress within the breed and the progress that Angus is making in genetic evaluation. We'll continue our discussion with Dr. Mosier after this. The Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health. Why not prevent respiratory disease before it steals from your bottom line? Vista Wants protects your calves with the most complete respiratory disease coverage available. And Vision Blackleg vaccines can add 14 pounds per calf at weaning. Contact your veterinarian or animal health supplier today. It's weaning time, your paycheck, the biggest day of the year. But are your calves ready? VitaFirm Sure Start pellets with the AmaFirm Advantage gives calves the boost they need to get through the first weeks of weaning. It accelerates appetites, ensures weight gain, and improves health. It's weaning time. Get them ready with VitaFirm Sure Start. Learn more at VitaFirm.com. Your herd, your business, your family. You've always protected what matters most so you know how important vaccinations are for healthy cattle. And with Vista vaccines from Merck Animal Health, you know you're covered. No other vaccine works like Vista. Only Vista gives you complete dual action pneumonia protection and complete one dose fetal protection for the entire pregnancy. Protect what matters most. Talk to your veterinarian or animal health supplier about Vista. The Yamaha Viking and introducing the all-new Viking 6. The hardest working, most off-road capable side-by-sides in America. Built for the hardest working people on earth. You. next Angus Journal? We know the feeling. Subscribe today at AngusJournal.com. <laughs> 